Ready to go? Hi, everyone. My name is V.S. Rankwitz. I'm a commercial banking intern over on the North Shore, and you know, I also teach the Miracle League. So, uh, The Miracle League, like uh, Elliot said, that it's a community organization that provides kind of an outlet for disabled children to kind of have that sports experience that we all or most of us grew up with. Um, a lot of kids, especially in high school or you know, even growing up, it's been, it was difficult for them to kind of get you know, involved in the community activities, to be in a competitive environment, to play sports without being outcast, and you know, the Miracle League does a really great job of that. Uh, my kind of idea for the Miracle League is providing not, not a fundraiser, not really kind of a, you know, helping with the equipment. It's more of a tournament. You know, I'm a very competitive person, being an athlete, and you know, and a lot of people in the bank, especially on the North Shore, are incredibly competitive. So I think if we provided some sort of tournament where we, you know, we took these teams, because I did some research in Indiana, there's only four teams right now, so if we took these teams and provided a tournament and created some sort of way to that, you know, there's an actual goal, and uh, I think that would be, you know, exciting. And then the, you know, the town could get around it. You know, different types of organizations could back each team, you know, and it could be led by S&T, which would be good for the organization. I have a video here. Uh, I think it's a little one minute. So I just press, you know, little technical difficulties. So we're going to play it real quick. It's on YouTube. Will that work or will it get blocked? It get blocked. Uh, well. <laughs> It's it's just a it's like a one minute video just to, you know it shows the passion they have it shows the buddies you know the good heartwarming songs. So. So we just. No, yeah, I, I, no, I have a bunch more slides. I, I just didn't know. Well, yeah, so that was the video. Uh, this disability population, this little research I did. In the U.S., 12.6% of the population has a, some sort of disability, you know, which is kind of high. And of that 12.6%, 4.21% is a mental disability, you know, which kind of attacks more of, you know, something I think would do really well here. And that rate's rising at a 10% year over year, which means that we're at an all-time high, which is, you know, pretty incredible, you know. And then uh, over half the disability population resides in lower class residencies. So I thought that was really interesting. Uh, what S&T can do, uh, S&T being the corporate influential figure and the biggest probably, you know, driver in the Indiana County can help and will provide a lot of fans, support, backing, can go and get different businesses and different organizations to help out that normally others wouldn't. Uh, as far as bringing in, you know, programs or students or you know, people with disabilities, S&T has a big reach and it's a very developed uh, organization. So companies and not companies, but schools and different programs would feel very comfortable doing, joining an S&T backed you know, program. And then what Miracle League could do for S&T. So as everyone knows, corporal so corporate social responsibility is a huge thing in banking. I think, you know, from the years there's been built up reputations and, you know, providing a event like this could really help S&T's image in the county, in the town, you know, we have first Commonwealth year, and, you know, I think that providing a good competitive edge that not only are we a strong, successful company, we also give back to the organization, which, you know, and then along with that, you know, the Miracle League and these kids, their parents and, you know, whoever it may be will need wealth management, they'll need deposits, and, you know, this is a good networking way to kind of meet with all these people. So, any questions? So how I think S&T would have a positive impact on Miracle League is I think when dealing with, you know, organizations and people, you know, that with disabilities, I think it's hard to kind of get in the door and trying to get, you know, kids, because it's always an uncomfortable situation, you know, they're not the most social of people. So bringing someone in such a massive organization and having all of us come there bring a lot more and have a lot more of an attendance. And then as far as the tournament goes, I, I was thinking somewhere in, you know, in July or whenever we plan on having this was having a, you know, creating these teams and having different members of the bank or different organizations kind of back a different team so that as a buddy system, let's say, commercial banking backed, you know, the Pirates or, you know, 
accounting, finance, and audit backed, you know, the Cubs. And that was like your individual team and everyone, you know, got around it. That you had their buddies there. You created different jerseys and shirts and it was a whole, you know, that was kind of my big idea. I think you can charge to the event. There's obviously, you know, we collect, exactly, exactly. Charge to the event. The people who in the bank will fund that individual uh, team. So if you're breaking up by divisions, the corporate bank would fund theirs, and it would be more clear that way. I think just planning it, I, you know, I, I think that this is kind of a long time, uh, you know, kind of a big project. So I think being an intern and being able to get the reach that we need for the number of, you know, children or people with disabilities to join, kind of break it up by groups, see the participation levels. You know, for me, why I chose the Miracle League is I didn't want to pick a, a charity or an, an, an organization that, you know, people weren't generally interested in. So on the, I, t I talked to my boss, I talked to about four or five people within the commercial banking, and everyone said, this is what we'd wanted. Like if we had to, if we had to go and there was something that we wanted to join, this would be something that would be exciting. Like we would back this. Like this would, you know, it hits home with everyone. I mean, there's a lot of people that are obviously involved with sports. A lot of people who care a lot about community service, and then obviously disability hits hard with everyone. So if you're gonna have this, you know, and you're gonna do something as a corporation. You want to do that because that's everyone enjoys, not just you know, to say you're actually doing something. You know. Oh, okay. I think there was a specific one. Should I just look in? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can find something. No, you're fine. No, you're fine. Any new questions? All right.
here.